Hi students, welcome to my channel Easy Maths by Uncle. In this video, I am starting new chapter. That is very easy chapter and also interesting chapter of 10th class students. And the chapter name is Sets. See, this is the very useful chapter for 7th class onwards. Those are preparing for IIT Foundation course. And also intermediate students can follow my videos because this will give the basic knowledge for other chapters also. See, in intermediate, you are having the chapters, sets, after that relations, relations after functions, functions after limits, next differentiations, differentiations, after that integration, In intermediate, you are having all these chapters, but for all these chapters, this is the base. So, you have to get concepts knowledge on these sets. That's why my humble request to all students is please subscribe this channel and follow my all videos. Press the bell icon. By that, you can get the notifications for upcoming videos also. Right, students? Now I am starting the chapter sets. In this video, I am giving mainly introduction of sets, next definition of set, representation of sets. So representation of sets is also three ways. Generally, first everybody knows about roster form and set builder form only. Roster form or tabular form also said to be list form. Here we can get the all elements of any set. Okay? Here set builder form. It is also called rule method. Here, they don't give the elements directly in the set. But, what the elements are following the rule, they will give in that. After that, Venn diagrams. Sets can be represented by Venn diagrams also. I will explain in detail Venn diagrams in separate video. Today, I am going to give clear information about roster form and set builder form. How to convert roster form into set builder form and also set builder form into roster form. Before that, we will start with interaction. See students, set. What is a set? Set, it is the common word. Generally, we are using in our daily life. So, everybody connected with the word set. See, some students go to purchase some items to a bookshop. They will ask, Uncle, give two sets of crayons. So immediately the shopkeeper will give crayon set. There, most probably 12 different color crayons will be there. Okay? So that is set of crayons. And somebody will ask, Uncle, one set is 7th class textbooks, 10th class textbooks also two sets. So they will do complete all subjects. Okay? That is also set. Geometry box. See, if we purchase geometry box, some mathematical instruments pencil, scale, eraser, sharpener, rounder, divider, set squares. Okay, all these they will keep in a box, they will give the geometry box. Okay, now bridegroom ornament set. So, if we go to golden shop and at the time of marriage occasion, they will purchase all items for bridegroom. Okay, that is said to be ornament sets. Now, makeup kit. So, makeup purpose, somebody they will purchase interestingly makeup kit. So first aid kit. So first aid kit means generally you can see cotton, bandage cloth, scissors for cutting purpose, tincture and also hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Okay, that is for cleaning purpose. So all these they will keep in first aid kit. There is also one kit. Now saving set. It is also one set. Puja item set. Somebody will do Varlakshmi, Vrata Puja, Satyana, Vrata Puja. So for that just we will go to shop and ask, uh, give the puja items. Immediately they will collect and give us puja item set. Okay. Now English alphabet set. From nursery onwards, everybody are learning A, B, C, D up to Z. These are alphabet set. And Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. These seven days, weekly days. That is also one set. January, February up to December. Twelve months are there. These are set of months in a year. Okay. Like that, we are hearing 
set in our daily life and also everybody are using this word actually this sets first this was introduced by george kondo he was the father of the sets theory okay see who is father of set theory george kondo george kondo remember his name because he was the father of this chapter actually his birthplace was uh, russia later he spent his life in germany that's why everybody know that george kondo was german mathematician okay so remember his name george kondo he introduced this lesson to us right now students what is the definition of a set say a well defined collection of objects or ideas is known as a set a well defined collection of objects or ideas is known as a set so here we are using new word well defined what is the meaning of well defined say suppose they will give some elements in a set all the elements in the set they have some common property common rule they have to follow say all the elements in the set should have a common property so how many elements are there all the elements exhibit some common property okay and one more it should be possible to decide whether any given object belongs to the set or not suppose if we take any element any object anything okay any item we have to decide whether the thing belongs to set or not if we can decide yes it belongs to that or it does not belongs to the set then the set is said to be well defined set so well defined set means what all the elements you know elements means objects only here in the definition what we are learning a well defined collection of objects or ideas is called a set objects are also called as elements items ideas things whatever you can write everything is okay okay so a well defined collection of objects or ideas is known as set and well defined means all the elements in the set should have common property and it should be possible to decide whether any object belong to the set or not okay then they are said to be well defined sets right see with the example you can follow that we know vowels of alphabet a e i o u now i am representing with the name v the vowels set is v see always sets are represented by capital alphabets okay set name will represented by using capital letter only v equal to now i am writing the objects ideas things elements in flower bracket somebody will say this is curly bracket actually we have to say these are brasses so elements represented in brasses what are the vowels a e i o u once again close that say a e i o u i am using only small letters remember this one also elements of the sets should be represented by using small letters only okay lower case letters only we have to use yeah and numbers will come sometimes letters will come okay things will come items will come whatever it may be what do you say this these are elements of the sets okay objects means nothing but elements and one more thing elements are separated by using commas okay a comma e comma i comma o comma q here five elements are there these five elements belong to the set b this set is represented by using only capital letters elements represented by using small letters and also elements separated by using commas all the elements will represented between brasses somebody uh, they will get some difficulty to draw these brasses just to see here how to draw this suppose first one right s okay now inverted s what about this closing process see yeah first invert s now s so simply you can draw like that okay first s invert s here 
inverters next s simply you can represent brushes like this now a e i o u are the elements of p say now we have to check whether this is well defined set or not how to find them see all the elements in the set should be have a common property what is a what is e what is i what is o what is u all these are ovals of english alphabet everybody knows that okay it is clear now what is the next second one it should be possible to decide whether any given object belongs to the set or not suppose i am taking i okay whether i belongs to the set or not this element is there or not in that group see check here yes i is there means i belongs to the set b how to represent this i belongs to b this is the symbol belongs to how to read this word i belongs to set b element i belongs to set b means i is there in that suppose somebody will ask what about k is element k in the group or not in the set or not observe here is there k in this group no k does not belongs to set b how to write that one k does not belongs to b so write like this this is the greek letter this one okay symbol is we have taken from greek k does not belongs to v k does not belongs to set b see i belongs to v k does not belongs to v like that we are telling any object whether that one belongs to the set or not it means this is well defined set okay now one more example suppose n equal to we know natural numbers what are natural numbers starting number 1 2 3 4 okay up to infinity we can write there is no n number in that this is the natural number set suppose now i am asking the question is there five in natural number set or not okay 1 2 3 4 5 like that if we go 5 will come in that group now what about 500 yes 500 is also there in natural number group so 500 is also belongs to natural number set now what about minus 7 is it there in the group or not in natural numbers negative numbers are not there so minus 7 does not belongs to natural number it means what this natural number set it is also well defined set like that natural number set here oval set these are well defined sets then not well defined set means what see suppose top three best film actors in hindi film top three best heroes we have to decide who are top three best heroes somebody will tell amir khan somebody shahrukh khan salman khan ajay devgan amitabh bachchan so anil kapoor different heroes are there but who is best actor who is top hero we can't decide that okay so that is not well defined set and suppose um with the 11 best cricket batsmen we have to make a team so throughout the world we have to select 11 best cricket players how to decide whether he is the best player or not somebody will tell sachin tendulkar virat kohli dhoni okay so indians we can tell indian names okay because we are having some feeling so we will tell indian cricket players in the best team so throughout the world we have to select only 11 members it is difficult to decide whether he is best player or not even though sometimes this dhoni tendulkar kohli all are there india lost the game then why if they are best players why indian team losing that game so it is difficult to decide whether he is best player or not so this is also not well defined set okay clear this one right students this is the last part in this video a representation of sets 
हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट सेट मेनली टू मेथड आर देयर रोस्टर फॉर्म सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म सो व्हाट इज रोस्टर फॉर्म आल्सो कॉल्ड एज टेबलर फॉर्म और लिस्ट फॉर्म बिकॉज़ हियर वी आर लिस्टिंग द एलिमेंट्स वी आर राइटिंग ऑल द एलिमेंट्स इन द सेट ओके वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई व्हाट आर द एलिमेंट्स इन द सेट वी कैन रीड द एलिमेंट्स दैट इज द रोस्टर फॉर्म और लिस्ट फॉर्म आर आल्सो कॉल्ड टेबलर फॉर्म व्हाट मोर इज सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म हियर we are not writing the elements in the set simply we are writing the statement what all the elements are following that so rule we are writing followed by elements that's why this is called rule method or rule or form here we are not writing the elements just we are writing the rule what the elements are following okay that is set builder form see now only i explain vowels capital v we are representing Flower bracket, curly bracket, brasses we can say. Ye, ye, I, O, U. Close this one. Ye, ye, I, O, U belongs to vowel set. This is roster form or list form because we are listing the elements here. Only this much elements are there in the set. Now how to write this one into set builder form? See, set here V, V equal to. Say carefully. X in volunteers we are writing X such that X is this one we have to read as X such that just we are writing bar like that. But present day we are using the symbol colon. We can read as such that X such that. What is X here? These elements. Element is represented by X. What is X? X such that. X is a vowel in English alphabet. English alphabet. See what we are writing here. V is the set. X is such that X is a vowel in English alphabet. We are not writing the elements here, but we are giving the information. So all the elements are possible. This rule, what is the rule? It is vowel in English alphabet. Okay, this is called set builder form. Set builder form means by using this rule, we have to build the set. We can build this set. Okay, by using the rule, we are building the set. That's why this is said to be set builder form, right? So X is that X a vowel in English alphabet means we will get elements A E I O U only. Okay, right. Suppose now prime number set we will write. See prime number symbol I am taking P. Anyone you can take here. Suppose P prime number I am writing two, three, five, seven up to ten. These are okay. Now eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. Suppose I am taking up to nineteen. Okay, two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. Just by reading this. You can understand these are prime numbers. Okay, what is this list? Prime number list. From where we are taking this? In natural numbers only. But up to which number we are taking? Below twenty. We are writing below twenty. Now how to write this in set builder form? See how to write p equal to x such that x. What is x? X is a prime number. What is x? X is a Prime number, okay. X is a prime number. X belongs to natural number. We can write this one, even though you can't write, but you have to write. Must have this one. X less than twenty, okay. X less than twenty. It means X is a prime number. X less than twenty. It means below twenty only you have to write the prime number. See ya. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. So, set builder form. This one is a roster form. Now, I am writing first set builder form. See, y equal to. I am writing x such that x is in between minus two and plus two, where x belongs to. Integer list. See, this is the set builder form. 
the x such that what I am taking x in integer list minus 2 to plus 2. Okay, total numbers I have to write including minus 2 and plus 2 also. Now, a what are the elements? Now we are building the set by using this set builder form. We are building the set in roster form. We are writing so minus 2, next minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So these are the elements belongs to this set. So what are the elements? Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So from set builder form, we can write into a roster form. Suppose B. B is the set. X is such that X is a letter from the word madam. Here madam word is there. From madam word we have to take the letters. So what are the elements in the set? B equal to C. First M is there. Next A. Next D. After that again A is there. Remember friends, these elements are not repeated in the sets. The tool is there. So once again it is not necessary to write A and M. Both A and M repeated. So these three enough. M, A, D. You can write like this. Otherwise in order also you can write. A, D, M. But this is not compulsory. So MAD or ADM. These three are the elements from the word madam. Like this, we can convert from roster form to set builder form and also set builder form to roster form. In the next video, I am going to solve problems from exercise. Complete problems on this. Okay? Right. Thank you.